Millions of people around the world work at a fast pace, always moving, always going, in this technological universe. What if time sped up and suddenly they realized they had only 24 hours to live? So the last 24 hours, I would probably still run around the first couple of hours still stressed out. Like, upset and mad because I didn't get to do everything I want to do in life and stuff like that. Mad at the world and everything after that. But then I'll probably be like, well, you know what? I only got a couple more hours. Let me live it up with a bang. So I know probably anything that's illegal, I'll probably try to go do. You know, <laughs> I would. Being under a time crunch can make people want to do a whole lot of different things. I've always wanted to just walk up to somebody and just slap the hell out of a random person. I have so bad. <laughs> so, if I last 24 hours, I know I will probably go do that. There's a guy that I currently work with, do not like him with a passion. And I will probably come up to my job, beat his ass, like literally just beat his ass. And then, like, that I probably could, like, like I said, illegal or fighting somebody. I'm not a, I'm not a violent person. I don't want you to think I'm a violent person. It's just like two people in my whole life that I just really just want to fight. And so I'll probably go attempt to do that. It doesn't matter what some may do in their last 24 hours, but the majority of people will spend it with the ones they love. Then after that, it'll probably just, you know, sitting at home with my family, you know, it'd be about good times. You know, we're all sitting around drinking, laughing, eating, playing games, stuff like that. Probably be what's most important to me out of life. You know, I can go out and do it all I want in the world, but when it comes down to it, you know, it sets being around your family, being around your loved ones, um, what makes you feel comfortable, make you feel at home, make you feel special and stuff like that. So. That's probably why I just love to be around them. And like the last, let's say like 30, an hour to 30 minutes of that 24 hours, that's probably when it'll be real sad. You know, I'll probably go down the line of my family members telling them, hey, you do this in life. Don't let no one do this, or, you know, stuff like that. Um, and all this and that. I would probably tell them, hey, I do not want my funeral to be sad because I'm not that type of person, so make my funeral into like a party. And the last like 10 minutes, I'll probably just like pass out and die. And then everyone start crying, and then I wake up and like, I'm just playing, I still got 10 more minutes. <laughs> you know, I'm goofy like that, that's my personality, so they would expect that. <laughs> and so, but yeah. And then after that, I just fade away, I guess.